I am so happy to welcome back on a PCCC stage. They have not been here for a while, and finally they are back. And I want you to give a big applause for the fabulous Faris Kochi! Hey! Thank you, thank you. That is nice. Woo, woo, woo! <laughs> How you doing? I know it is such a loaded question these days to say how you doing. <laughs> so I'm just being polite, so just say good and we'll just move on, okay? <laughs> um, but like, you know, before we move on, I would like really to just clear the air. Not because of, uh, you know, COVID or like, you know, Coco Vicious or Pinini, Panana, not that because, but like for a thought. Because, uh, surprise, surprise, I really don't like to make assumptions, yeah? So, for me, the assumptions is stems into this word, assume. And how I define it, some of you might probably know, it's like, you know, it's in the name. It's A-S-S-U-M-E. So, it's more like, you know, don't make an ass out of you and me. <laughs> So let's just do that and then like, you know, clear the air. So speaking of not making an ass out of you and me, I just would like to tell you I'm queer, homosexual. <laughs> <laughs> but like, you know, it's just enough about clearing the air. So let's just talk about the theme of the night, which is holiday. Uh, some people call it vacation, which gives us like you know flexibility to play words. Um, so sometimes I call it hell day, and other times I would call it whole day, if you know what I mean. <laughs> and some other times, some people call it vacation. I don't know where I heard that, but they say they call it that. So I just wanted to play some word play with the audience. And does anybody has like you know names that? you wanted to name? No? Anybody? Anybody? No? Wow. Wow. So much for participation. Okay. So, but like, you know, whenever I think about holiday, my thoughts and my head absolutely goes directly to like, you know, how this word or like, you know, the concept of it is really heavily influenced by religion. Yeah. And like, you know, in the spirit of also like, you know, making uh, an ass out of me and you, <laughs> I'm just going to just break that rules and just tell you that like, you know, I feel like you all are like so politically active. So like, you know, in your daily life, you're like, you know, religion, <clears throat> like, you know, it's, I hate religions, like, you know, let's just dismantle it, like, you know, like, you know, the bot, like, you know, the, like, how is this indoctr indoctrinations, how it is controlling our bodies, da -da -da -da. we're like so rebellious and everything, and then all of a sudden we just turn around, it's like, holiday. <laughs> And like, I am looking for her from holiday. And like, I'm gonna go wild on my holiday. Imagine wild and holy. Um, but like, you know, but it's really like, you know, this thought is really, uh, really rooted into how I was born and raised. Um, I'm like, you know, really born and raised by a really religious family. And it's a evangelist Protestant. Woo! -woo! <laughs> So it's like, you know, in Ethiopia, it is quite very, like, you know, minority religion because the majority of Ethiopians probably is Ethiopian Orthodox or Islam. And then, like, you know, so the Protestant is the minority. So you can imagine, like, you know, there is a, a very tight bond that is happening. It's almost like a cult. Yeah. So it's like they are so close. You know, they even have like um, a birth chart. They even like, you know, share the birth chart. Like, you know, when I say birth chart, like literally like, you know, people sitting in the, in the <laughs> um, like, you know, conference tables and then just like, you know, saying like, you know, family A, January and February is for you to have a baby. Family B is for March and April and, and so on. So like this, like, you know, this group of people, we are so close and everything. So imagine, like, you know, if my parents wants to talk about my birth date, 
Uh, I'm just young and so perky, so I'm not going to tell you how old I am, but I'm just going to let you guess. So, but like, you know, how they just like, you know, put it in the context is like, you know, you know, like, you know, Kuchi is born like three months before your child and seven months after your child. And I'm like, always like, you know, uh, ma'am, you can just say January 26 and move on. <laughs> you know, we don't, we don't need to, but like, it's so tight. And you can imagine um, how these tight uh, units of families are like, you know, in holiday. So there is the biological family, there is the family by choice. Not like, you know, family by choice is the queer things, right? Like, you know, but in, in, in my family is like, you know, family by the blood of Jesus. Yeah? <laughs> so it's... So it's like very strong. So like, you know, you would just be like, you know, whenever I want, like, you know, imagining going to a holiday to my parents' place, it is just like, you know, a fist of real, like, like a festival of very good food, unsolicited, unsolicited advices, and like unwanted opinion commas. Like, you know, it's just, they would just come in into your way. Like, why are you this? Why are you that? Why are you this? So like, you know, I always like have this like a, uh, need to create a routine whenever like a uh, holiday comes. I would just like, you know, go to my apartment in front of the window. I mean, in front of the mirror, I would just say like, you know, would have like a monologue. Like, you know, it's really hard to call it monologue because like, you know, inside like there are like so many characters that are like arguing. <laughs> so, so character A would be like, you know, girl, are you gonna do this? Really? Is it gonna happen? And then character B is like, good food. I think you should do it. And then character C would be like, you know, Ugh, people. Uncle Basrat is gonna come and, and he's, he's gonna come with his inflated ego. Are you ready for that? And then the smart one would just say like, you know, just come up with an excuse. You were like preparing food and then you wanted to bring, and you accidentally cut your leg, so you can't walk. <laughs> so it's like, so it's very like, uh, like, you know, it's a lot of conversations happening. So, and then at the end, I would just calm myself down. And then I have like, you know, this root, like, you know, this also like, you know, the, uh, song I create, like, I, I didn't create it, but like, you know, a song that I do in my head. <laughs> As, do you know this uh, evan televangelist um, that go viral into re-elections of Trump? She was saying like, you know, Holy Spirit activate. So I have like the song, hit it. <laughs> so, Hold on. Okay. Holy Spirit activate. Oh no. Holy oh, Spirit no. Oh, activate. No. Holy Spirit activate. 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 Oh. All right, let's go. Yeah, so it's like basically like that's what I do. Holy Spirit, activate, 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 activate. <laughs> and then I would just like, you know, whoo. But like when I say this, the more, like it's not always like so bad. There are like so many nice stories and like good stories, which is my parents like, you know, shamelessly always remind everybody and telling these stories. And for instance, like, um, Somehow they find it very inspiring, but my, it's my personal opinion is so embarrassing. I'm always like, you know, oh my God, I was just five, calm down. <laughs> so it's like one of the stories is like, you know, what my mom love, 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 love to tell is how I am such a spiritual baby. I used to, I used to recite uh, the Yosef stories. Do you know Yosef? Like, you know, the child of Yaakov. Like, you know, there's this, like, you know, from the Genesis, from Book of Genesis. You can imagine how spiritual I am. <laughs> so, um, and then, like, you know, it's just the stories about, like, you know, there's, like, the 12 tribes and da -da -da in Israel, and then... And then, like, you know, I also am from a very big family and I'm the last child. So I just would just recite and then just pretend to be Yosef. And I always remind my siblings, you are not the chosen one. I am the chosen one. That's why you're jealous of me. So I was such a stuck up for my parents and like a snitch. <laughs> So like, you know, even like to the point, my siblings have gave me a nickname that's called Telephone. 
Because I always go around and tell everything they do to my parents. Like, they don't, they really don't need to tell, any, like, you know, they really don't need to ask anything. So I would be like, you know, oh, you're home. I have a report. <laughs> I would be like a newscaster that really, like, you know, just like, I was somewhat detail oriented. I was even including weathers and everything. So I would be like, you know, mom, I was enjoying the weather. And it was shining through the window. And that's when my sister jumped through the window instead of using the door. <laughs> so it's like my siblings, they were like, oh. So whenever I walk around to the house, like inside the house, they would be like, oh, telephone is here. Just watch you. How you're doing? So it's like that. So, and then another, like, you know, also, like, you know, these stories also would just go also, like, you know, one of my, like the, my parents' best friend, just telling us another story, like saying like, you know, there is this story, like, you know, where Kuchi is like, you know, is the best friend of their child. And like, you know, one time we were like play, playing in their house. And, um, and then like, you know, it was time to go inside and like you know, get cleaned up and get a snack because we were like, you know, you know, children. So, so we both got like you know our own like you know section of um, snack, and then I just brilliantly come up with an idea, where I just say like you know, look, I have an idea. Let's just play house. So you build a house to yourself, and I will build a house to myself, and we pretend to be neighbor. And then you know, in Ethiopia, we have coffee ceremony. We invite each other, and like you know, we pretend that we're doing coffee ceremony. So, and then we will just like you know, what we're not pretending, but eating that snack. <laughs> so I would like you know, I would like you know, just you know, you invite me to your place. I would cordially come and really respectfully attend. <laughs> <laughs> and pretend to drink uh, the coffee and eat your snack. <laughs> so we were like, oh, she's like, oh, yes, amazing. Let's just do that. And she invited me. And then I went into her house. And we just pretend that we're drinking coffees. And I ate all the snacks. <laughs> and then she's like, OK, Kuchi, now it's your turn. And I'm like, oh, I am so sorry. I am sorry. I'm sorry. I have to just like, I just remember that I have to clean my house. I am so busy. <laughs> I don't have a time to have coffee today. So I'm just going to. Lock my door and clean my house, meaning is eating all my snack. <laughs> so in this charade, like my like you know, her parents are like, is uh, is our daughter getting bamboozled? <laughs> so it's like so embarrassing. They always tell it, and I'm always like, you know, I do not know this person. <laughs> I am not related to this person, do not attach me to this person. And another story is also like uh, it's one of those moments where the parents will dold up their children and take it, take us to the studio, the photo studio. So it's early 19. You can imagine how the studio look like. <laughs> it has like you know big poster where like you know there's fountains, all the animals and everything, and everybody pretend. So it's like, it's that kind of studio. So, so the photographer has this brilliant idea that is infested by heteronormativity. So he brought the umbrella and gave it to her. And I was like, what? <laughs> uh, I was born to hold that umbrella. What do you mean? <laughs> so we were like fighting. Like she was like, no, it's mine. No, it's mine. Ah, bye. It was like so, like it took, like it was so bad to just contain us. We fought, and then of course, finally, everybody convinced me that, like you know, it's the girl who hold the umbrella, and I'm like, okay. And so, like you know, literally, we have the photo. So she's like in the in that picture with the umbrella, <laughs> and I am like inflated, like uh, uh, like a frog. And it was so, like, you know, it was so bad. I remember when I graduated from my university, her mom just printed it in A3 and gave it to me as a gift. I was like, wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so, so in all of this, it's, 
It's so amazing also, like, you know, in these stories, like, you know, just like everybody would just sense like, you know, mm, what is happening? This is very suspicious. It has a homosexual tendency. <laughs> so they would be like, so Kuchi, when are you getting married? Who is she? And I'm like, really, really? After these stories, are you going to ask me to get married? Okay. Yeah. So this is my story. Thank you for listening. Yay. Yeah, Holy Spirit, activate! <laughs>